The conviction stemmed from the U.S. government's post-9-11 crackdown on the funding of alleged terrorist groups. Terrorist money men should know this. We are hunting down the murderers you support, and we will hunt you down. Three years after the government shut down the Holy Land Foundation, then the largest Muslim philanthropic organization in the country, it charged five of its officers with sending more than $12 million to Palestinian charities allegedly controlled by Hamas. The U.S. government has designated Hamas as a terrorist organization since 1995. Yet after 19 days of inconclusive jury deliberations last year, the judge declared a mistrial, only to have prosecutors retry the case last September. In a virtual replay of the first trial, a former U.S. State Department official testified that intelligence briefers never told him that Hamas directed the U.S. charity groups. But an unidentified Israeli witness told the court that the aid was funneled through Hamas channels. A government prosecutor told the new jury, we all support charities, but the charities that we support do not come with strings attached. Yeah, they're getting, they're getting more desperate, and this is a more desperate attempt by the government to uh, send five noble men uh, to, uh, to prison for doing the right thing. It's, it's diabolical. But the defendant's supporters say the accused were being punished for nothing more than feeding hungry and poor Palestinians. They're getting, they're getting more desperate, and this is a more desperate attempt by the government to uh, send five noble men uh, to, uh, to prison for doing the right thing. It's, it's diabolical. Muslim groups say the prosecution has made American Muslims more hesitant to fulfill their religious obligation of helping the needy. And they accuse the government of targeting Muslim charities. The same charities that these guys gave to, the American Red Cross is still given to, the USAID is still given to. The wife, mother, and six children of Holy Land co-founder Hassan El Ashi had hoped the second jury would vindicate him. We're very strong and we've been putting up with it and we'll keep putting up with it. But pending an appeal, the verdict to convict all the men on more than 100 counts gives the outgoing Bush administration a hard-fought legal win. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Dallas.